Hello and welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. In this video, I will demonstrate how user and group authorizations work in Control-M Enterprise Manager. Permissions are granted by privileges assigned to users and or groups. Users are granted permissions based on their individual user level or with an associated group. Authorizations are additive and results in the least restrictive version of the permission. If a user belongs to multiple groups, that user will inherit all the privileges from those groups. If a user has individual privileges at the user level, then those are in addition to the group's privileges as well. I will go through two demos showing the behavior of a user's access using additive and restrictive authorizations. User 1 as an individual has access to a folder called folder underscore A. We will add user 1 to two groups, group B and group C, and see the results. Let's verify user 1's current access by going to EM authorizations and checking group memberships that they belong to. Currently they're empty. And check the folder tab which should have folder underscore A access, which it does. Next, let's check the planning domain and verify that only folder underscore A is visible in the list. Now we will add user 1 to group B and group C. As the EM administrator, let's go ahead and add user 1 to two groups and save the changes. User 1 needs to log out and log back in for changes to take effect. Let's log in again and check what folders are listed now. As expected, User 1 now has access to all three folders based on all the privileges added on from the group's access. Let's move on to Demo 2. Currently, user 1 has access to hold, free and rerun active jobs. Group B and C members both have access to also hold, free and rerun jobs. User 1 is a member of both groups. We will remove user 1's user level access to hold, free and rerun jobs. We will also remove group B's privilege to hold, free and rerun. That leaves only group C that has hold, free and rerun privileges, as you can see. Since group C members have access to hold, free and rerun, and user 1 is a member of this group, then user 1 will still have access to hold, free and rerun active jobs, even though it was removed from the user level and from group B. In summary, a privilege will be granted when it is granted to the user, the group, or both. The privilege will remain as long as the association exists between user and group. That concludes this Control-M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.